Hi everyone and welcome to another Blender tutorial on Render Hub. Want to make something like this in Blender? Of course you do. Just take your mesh, add a geometry nodes modifier and add a new node group. Connect a split edges node to split the mesh into separate faces. Add a split to instances node and set it to faces to convert the faces into instances. Connect an index node to the group ID input. Connect a translate instances node. Sample the normal from your split faces at the index using a sample index node set to vector and face. Similarly, sample the position from your split faces at the index using another sample index node set to vector and face. Use a separate XYZ node to isolate the X component of the sampled position. Connect a map range node and in the from min field type hashtag frame. Click the field again and type in 1 minus frame minus 1 over 50. Now, as the frames increase, a larger and larger range of position values will be mapped to a factor between 0 and 1, which drives the scale of the displacement of the fragments, allowing us to create the wave of disintegration from right to left. Connect a math node set to multiply, type hashtag frame into the value field, Click the field again and type in frame minus 1 over 20. Now the scale of the disintegration will increase over time. Add a second math node set to multiply and connect a random value node to the second input. This will add some variation to the scale of the disintegration. Multiply this factor by your sampled normal from the split faces using a vector math node set to scale and connect the output to the translation input of the translate instances node. Now, the mesh slowly disintegrates along its normals, from right to left. Connect a Rotate Instances node. Add a Random Value node, set it to Vector, and set the components of the minimum and maximum vectors to minus pi and pi, respectively. Calculate the length of the position with a Vector Math node set to Length, and multiply our random vector by this length using another Vector Math node set to Scale. Connect the output to the rotation input of the Rotate Instances node. Connect your sample position from the split faces to the pivot point input. Now, the fragments will rotate about their individual origins. And as our mesh disintegrates, the fragments will rotate in different directions and at different speeds, enhancing the realism of the animation. Thanks for watching and happy rendering.